three simple steps to improving your charisma in a very short period of time. Now this could be on camera, this could be in social, this could be on stage, I don't know. I'm personally not a stage guru, so don't take this advice from me if you don't want to. But I know how to improve my charisma and I know how to improve your charisma in a very short period of time in three simple steps. So step number one is break outside of your box. Now I learned this from Yaya Bakar, the man. He is like the man, love him. Breaking outside your box. Now this is a metaphorical box. Can be a physical box like I'm using right now. I'm looking at my camera screen and I'm breaking outside of the box. And obviously don't do gestures like this. That may be a bit weird. Hello, how are you? That may be a bit weird, but it's about breaking outside of the box, making yourself more expressive using your gestures. And it doesn't mean you have to go all over the place like that. <laughs> but what it does mean is when you're talking, be a lot more expressive. See things in the bigger picture. When you look over there, do you see what I'm saying? And it's very simple for you to do that. You just have to get used to it and just do it a little bit more. Over time, eventually, you'll start to break outside of this box and you can become more expressive in the way that you talk. Now, the second step is use, utilize your tone, your voice, your tempo, your volume, and at times you may stop. At times you may be faster, you may be talking a lot faster, you may be speaking in a higher pitch. Your volume may be that much louder. Just turn up that volume. Because when you're talking, if someone was talking to you like this, and they had no tempo, no tone, they were just one tone, the volume was this low, then eventually you'd probably get quite bored. And I don't think many people would have a YouTube channel unless they, if they spoke like this, unless they were did, doing something like ASMR. Whereas if you start using your tone, you utilize the pauses. And you speak that much louder. You start to improve what is magnetic. It looks magnetic. Magnetic charisma. That's what it looks like. And there's a great book as well that I highly recommend. This is not the third step, but it literally is called Magnetic Charisma. Highly recommend you go and get that book. Now, the third and final step is use facial expressions, use gestures, speak more clearly, <laughs> speak clearer, <laughs> but utilize it, use the expression because a smile on your face doesn't look real unless you use, like you gotta get these things on your eyes and this is what I learned, you get these things on your eyes, I don't know what they're called, crow's feet, you gotta get them for a proper smile, even if you wanna fake a smile, just do that. Just do that and it looks like a real smile. But this, I'm trying to look at myself, it just, just does not look like a real smile. So use facial e expressions. Speak like that, speak clearer. Use your gestures, use your tempo, use your volume. Have dramatic pauses. Speak a bit faster sometimes and when you speak faster, speak with con conviction. Make sure you're speaking with confidence. Move around a little bit but make sure your gestures, you're smiling, your face is expressing facial expressions. Express your face of how you're feeling, of how you're thinking, of when you know this is a good idea, maybe speak like that. So there's three very simple steps to improve your confidence, to improve your charisma on screen, on stage, with friends, with family, however it is that you wanna do it. Utilize these three tips and go and change your life or change someone else's life.